individual peace starts with you individually. It starts with your breathing as a fundamental response to life. It's not a radical approach. It's a very fundamental approach. Next time somebody around you gets an anxiety attack or an asthma attack or emphysema or something with the lungs, just suggest to them that they alter their breathing reference. This is breathing up here like this. That's just making it worse. Because you hear it and you go, oh God, I am dying. <laughs> Especially when that asthmatic wheeze comes up here and he goes, oh, rah, rah, rah. and then if you have to throw up and you can't, and then you really feel like you're lost. So you say, open your mouth, breathe through your nose. It's plugged and can't breathe through your mouth. Breathe to your elbow, breathe to your forehead. <laughs> we don't care what's plugged, to keep breathing it in. When the peace starts to settle, it radiates around to the body. It's a very funny undulating thing. It goes on. It's not stale. Peace is very much alive. It's in the asthma wheeze. It's in the pain in the neck. It's in the pain in the back and the shoulder, it, the peace is in there because we didn't do anything except drop the pressure and the peace is there. Do you know how we know that biblically? Here's this guy, I, I think they call him Jesus or something like that, Joshua, Jesu. They, they had a name for him. He got on a boat with his followers and the boat just started going into the stormy weather and it was really bad. They said, peace be still. And everybody else heard him. But you know what he said? Peace. Be still. Because he didn't tell the peace be still. Peace. To the other elements, be still. And as they became still, peace settled on the water and the ocean around them. Perush Peshan.